listening to The Sizzle on Iron Skillet Radio and Iron Skillet Television. <laughs> you know what it is. You know who it is. It's The Sizzle here on Iron Skillet Radio, Iron Skillet Tom, Television. And you know what? We are the hottest talk in the 219. We are the hottest sports talk anywhere. And Jay, we got to talk about some things. So let's get into it. Let's jump into it right now. The Chicago Bears have said no to voluntary minicamp. We will not come. We will only do virtual. And since they're only doing virtual, they ain't showing up. So is this going to be a problem moving down the line for them? Or is this just business as usual? Oh, it's business as usual for the Bears. Business as usual because they're, they're the most storied, uh, incompetent franchise in the NFL. They can't get nothing right at all whatsoever now, did you hear what the punky qb had to say about him oh my goodness gracious <laughs> said he doesn't even care anymore best organization in the world is where jay uh the packers wow punky qb and this was after the super bowl run after the super bowl run the punky qb said mm, these guys are as a word in the front of tastic that i can put on there but uh mm. you know and wasn't fan. You understand what I'm saying? No, they He's were not a fan of them. They were donkey tastic. That's what they were. Yeah. And the whole thing about this is that look, the Chicago Bears are so dysfunctional from the top of their head to the bottom of the cleats of the person who's cleaning them in the locker room after the game is over. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Look. <sighs> yeah. You know, take I, your time. I, take your time. Okay. Okay. All right. So let, let's talk about this. All right. First thing. First thing. These are virtual meetings with the with the quotation marks on there. Right. They're virtual. So if they're not mandatory that you have to be there to opt, you know, then yeah, what's they're voluntary. The issue. They're, they're voluntary. voluntary. So what's the issue? I, you know, here's the thing. Even the Bears have released a statement saying that it's kept down injuries. Last year, a lot of the injuries didn't happen because they weren't in some of these more aggressive camps. But regardless of the fact, does it even matter, Jay? Does it, does it matter when you don't have a quarterback? Does it matter when you don't have an offensive line? Does it matter when your defensive lines is in shambles? Does it matter any way it goes? I mean, this, to me, this is what I don't understand. Why are we talking about camp? Because Ryan Pace has convinced everybody because he's such an upbeat guy with a great personality that he has this under control. This is mm, exactly okay. what I wanted to happen. This, hey, mm-hmm. perfect. We knew Mitch might be a we, we took a yeah. flyer on Mitch uh-huh. and it didn't work out, but we got this under control now. These are my guys, my coaching staff. Right. You know, uh, that, that coaching staff that was before me. That wasn't it. I got my guys in here. I got 75 people to teach the quarterbacks how to throw a proper spiral now. And uh, they got more coaches than they got football players. You know? (laughs) Yeah. Here's the thing that gets me is that we're talking about practice. Right, dog? We're talking about practice. No, no, you ain't saying it right. You got to have your face all scratched up. Okay. We're talking about practice. Practice? That's we're, we're really sitting here talking about practice. Wow. Practice. That, that, practice. Yeah, you, got, That's, you got to say it like that. We talking about practice? practice? Like, not the game, not the game that they go out there and they give their lives for. Not the game that they love with all their heart. We talking about practice? Practice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to AI. I miss him. Shout out to AI. Hey, man, you know, I almost went in and bet on some of those things because I saw them on the commercial. But let me ask you, Jay. Yes, sir. When you're close to 50, is yeah. are corn rolls still a thing? Is that that they that they just can't let it go? See, the issue <laughs> is, man, see, corn rolls keeps you attached to the hood. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, 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 <laughs> right. Right. You're right. You know and so right. that way I'm still down with my peeps, even though I ain't living nowhere near my peeps for 25 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm still down with y'all. You know, you know? his peeps are all grandparents now, right? Dude, he's probably a grandparent by now. Wow. He's probably great. Yeah, yeah, I guarantee you. I guarantee you he probably got he got grandkids by now. 
Wow. Don't, hey, don't, 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 don't AI look a little bit like Cat Williams to you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that's his lost brother, don't you? <laughs> Big a big old buckle on him and, and had a perm and see his hair is long enough you could top that perm in there that's Cat Williams man that's I'm just thinking he was a little puffy on that commercial I mean I was, come on who who ain't puffy though from back in the day though man you know? <laughs> AI was only about a 160 165 when he played in the league if he was that much okay so let's talk about this real quick and I know we talk about the Bears we yeah. should probably say this to the Bulls segment nah, I think we should go ahead run that's all right with so, it. it's all right now. All right, so I, there's a discussion. Who wants to talk about the Bears anyway? anyway Nobody. <laughs> Chauncey Billups says, I don't know why y'all keep talking about AI, right? Yeah. Like, our numbers are the same. I did the same. When I was shut in up, Denver, we up, were good. Ch- shut up, Chauncey. When I'm I sorry. was when I was here, <laughs> I got Chauncey. a championship. Shut he up, You don't even have a ring, you know, so. Shut up. Shut up. I'm just trying to figure out why is everybody like, AI, who's that? Do you know who I am? I'm Chauncey. Sean C. Look, look, look. See what I did there? Chauncey Billups. <laughs> if AI is flying first class, mm-hmm. the plane's leaving Chauncey Billups <laughs> on the tarmac. He can't even get on the plane Stop. with AI. Stop he your can't, foolishness. He can't, he can't sit in second class, third class. We won't even let him in the luggage racks down there. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Chauncey Billups can't hold a candle to AI any type of way. Well, any type of way. Yeah, well, you know. This, well, is, the, this is the answer. The answer. Well, you Chauncey Billups saying? says he was the question. Well, the question is, why is Chauncey Billups out here tripping? Look. <laughs> 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 look, there yeah, is no there's nothing way. right about what you're doing right now. So. <laughs> look, there is nothing that Chauncey. Look, yeah, Chauncey. Uh, yeah, hey, was, was he good? A good NBA player? Yes, he was. Was he great? Mm-hmm. Top fifty, Chauncey Billups. I don't know where his top number. hundred. You know, I'm gonna have to look at the numbers. Top I'm have hundred. To get back I mean, come to off you. top of your head, top hundred. Hey, I would imagine he's somewhere in the one fifty. All t- I'm talking about all time. Um, oh, all time. All time. Oh. All time. Mm. I would imagine. He's somewhere in the 200s. Okay. AI top 50 all time. Mm, I don't Absolutely. think top 50. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, top he might be all-time? like 51. I don't Come know about now. top okay. 50. Okay, na- 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 name me five guards better than AI. Big O, Michael oh, Jordan. Oh, stop, stop there. I'll give you Michael Jordan. I won't give you Oscar Robinson. You're not going to give me Oscar Robinson? Better than AI? Come on, handle? Talk about handles? We're just not talking about handles. We're talking, we're talking about, about like, scoring, scoring. Yeah, talking about AI. I mean, if you talk about talking scoring, about, we're talking about guard. We're talking okay. about scoring. AI, AI yeah. is the answer. Uh, give Derek him the Rose. ball. He's gonna give you a bucket. Derrick Rose. Okay, so let's go. We got. Are we putting Derrick Rose? Are we talking? Are, is Derrick Rose top fifty all time? I know this is a bear segment, but we're gonna we're gonna leave it yes. in a minute. Okay, so who are you taking? Are you taking Derrick Rose or AI? Derrick Rose. You're taking Derrick Rose. So is AI, how far underneath Derrick Rose is AI? He's just like on the other block. I mean, he's like, he might be on the same block, but he's a few houses down. You taking AI over Steph Curry? Nope. You taking AI over, um, let's see, whoever, small guard, um, Isaiah Thomas? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Demar- and that's not, I, that's not Zeke. Hate. I'm just yeah. Dumars? Yeah, he and Joe Dumars. Yeah, for for show. Okay, so give give me. Now he might DM guard. up though. Give me another small guard that, that's better than AI. Mm. Better than AI. Better than AI. Give me another small guard. Mm. What do you what do you see Rondo fitting in there? Oh, Rondo ain't better than AI. No, 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 no. Not scoring. Mm. Not consistent. Consistent. Mm. Nasty to the basket. Gonna get you a bucket. Ain't afraid. What about John Wall? John Wall, John Wall is really weird because John Wall, at his height, he should be probably top six, seven, eight, ten guards all time mm-hmm. at his height, but he never plays there on a consistent basis. Okay, okay. You, I mean, it, I'm not saying they're much better than than AI. I'm not. I'm never. I'm not going to say that. 
and, and we're talking saying, two brands. We're talking two different brands of basketball too. Yeah, you're also different talking, eras. And you're, you're talking different eras. It's like AI was beat to death, body slam. Most of these yeah. guys right now scoring all these points, all these points right now wouldn't be scoring all these points back yeah. in the day of AI. Well, Steph was never. Oh, I mean, Steph never faced the defenses and the hand checks and the the double teams that AI faced. Well, I mean, no, he never faced basis. that, but but he also he also. And we got to go back in time now too. So I don't, I don't even know if he would have been developing that long outside shot. But the league would have never seen that long outside shot. But you got to wonder would Steph Curry have even developed that? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, if, it because it would have been a thing then anyway. But I mean, it's just like comparing you know other NFL greats to this to this era now. You really, it's hard to do because the eras are so different. You know what you I'm know saying? what's funny about this whole thing is when you listen. To the and I don't know if he even likes that name, so I'm not going to call McMahon the Punky QB because that it's somewhat somewhere in there it seems disrespectful to me. I don't know yeah, where. Well, okay, I can see that it's something, but he's a grown man and he's old enough. He, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so he's old enough to to give somebody a spanking. All I'm going to say is he said that that the Chicago's the place where quarterbacks go to die. Go to die. Why why do they go to die there? Because they don't throw over 4,000 yards. We haven't had a quarterback over 4,000 yards. You know, I love when Cordell <laughs> Stewart came to the Bears. And maybe it's just because I had Cordell Stewart love. But I don't know who that Cordell Stewart was. Maybe that was his twin brother, Courtney Stewart. <laughs> but it was not Cordell Stewart. Cor- it was Cor- terrible. Cor- Stewart because he looked, he looked terrible. Look. The mm. bear, the Bears are a defense first team, mm-hmm. and the run game supports the defense. Mm-hmm. That, that's what's going to happen. And they look for, and they actually look for the defense to actually score uh, when they get yeah. opportunity to do yeah. so. But the Bears have become this old dinosaur in the NFL. They never have upgraded their offensive system. It's just like going out here. You can't say you have a Mercedes if you got a 1984 Mercedes and you got rust on the side of it and it needs a brake job. Yeah. You don't have a Mercedes. You have an old car. You know, one thing I did and it it popped up uh, and shout out to some of the people at uh, uh, CBS Sports. I was about to say CSI. Well, CSI maybe has to investigate this. Here's (laughs) Here's an investigation. Matt Forte is the only player in NFL history to start his career with nine straight 1,000 yards from scrimmage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the Bears still found a way to never give him QB support so that this type of player, this is historic. I mean, you just don't, almost 10,000 yards in 10 years. Yeah. But look, but look all around the Bears and everybody around the Bears, except for maybe Detroit, was able to develop a quarterback. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the Bears sh- couldn't get it figured out. Shout out to Barry Sanders, man. That that's criminal. Well, you know, that that's I, that's really criminal with it, what they do. Here, here's the funny part about Barry Sanders that I thought well, not funny, but it was the way he retired. He just said, right, that's enough." <laughs> yeah, he just quit. <laughs> he was just like, "I'm done." And I always wonder what wasn't uh, Walter Payton leading the um the rushing then when Barry Sanders quit? Yes, yes. I because it was. wasn't until Emmett Smith went to Arizona, yeah, that he was still the all time leading rusher. So I think I wonder somehow because I know uh, Walter Payton was um, Barry Sanders' idol. I wonder if he just didn't want to pass Walter Payton. I, it's either that or the stories about Bobby Ross were real where he felt like he was being held hostage. And I don't want to say the term, especially in this climate of, of where it's seriousness, but when you feel like you're being held in bondage. Well, well millionaire bondage. <sighs> was he getting yeah. The see, that's where I, was, I was, was he getting, a, was he getting a paycheck? He was getting a paycheck. He was getting was all he, of that. He was, was free he, to leave at any time. Was he signing these contract extensions? Yeah, yeah. You're not in bondage. So I'm you trying to be, think of a bigger, better word. That, that sounds like that sounds like something that you get. I mean, one of them things where you have a ball in your mouth. That like, 
You can't be in. You can't. He was be in, in an entanglement. Type of yeah, you can't. He was be in, in a, a football entanglement. You can't be in a self-imposed bondage. I mean, you could, but I mean, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's just like, mm-hmm. come on, this, these guys all. They all crack me up with this. Mm-hmm. It's a whole, you know, I, I, I feel like I was being held down. Or were you signing <laughs> and <laughs> signing contract and cash and paychecks? That's all I wanted to know. I felt yeah. like I was being suppressed. Okay, don't sign. Well, then I really would be suppressed. Else. I couldn't, I couldn't. Well, then they'll tell you. Now, see, that's the caveat to that is that in that day and time, you couldn't just get up and walk out the door. You could you could not sign your next contract. Or you could play for the Chicago Bears. Oh, then you definitely you definitely go to just being, you know, look, you know what's so sad about the Bears? I was hoping that the Bears were going to be Green Back, Green Bay Packers South. You know what I'm saying? I was sort of hoping that they would be competing for championships for a while. I just thought with this defense. You know, Mitchell Trubisky playing, you know, serviceable quarterback. We get it figured out a little bit, air the ball out a little bit. Maybe we get close to 4,000 yards throwing the ball. You know, had decent wide receivers out there. We had a little we had a little decent offensive thing going, and it just fell apart. It looked like it looked like Matt Nagy was just like, nope, 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 I'm not going to play offense this way. He actually said that. He actually said that I'm not going to play three yards in a cloud of dust offense. I'm just not going to do it. But what about that's the winning formula? For well, that's the, the whole Bears? point. I, I think when we talk about the Bears in the next segment, we're going to transition out to the next segment. We're going to talk about the quarterback play. We're going to talk about the line play and how to play football in this new generation. And if that QB situation is good enough for you to still be on the hunt for a QB right now if you're the Chicago Bears. That wascally wabbit, he still he might as well get Elmer Fudd out there trying to get that, that that's what the Bears are like trying to get a quarterback. Elmer yes. Fudd trying to kill a <laughs> Bugs Bunny. That's what shh, very, very quiet. We're gonna try to move up in the draft, but we don't know who we're gonna take. Shh. You know who it is. You know what it is. It's the sizzle here on Iron Skillet Radio, Iron Skillet Television. And remember, if you haven't liked, subscribed, and shared to us, please feel free to find us at hashtag Iron Skillet Sports. You can find us on any platform. We are there for you to give you quality information. So make sure that you hit the notification button so that you know when the sizzle is on the air. So with that, you know he's J Sizzle. I'm G Sizzle. And we'll see you on the other side. Hit the subscribe button now.